Imagine being stranded at sea surrounded by endless water, but you can't drink a drop. Why not just gulp some seawater? Seawater is about four times saltier than your blood. If I drank it, my cells would lose water trying to balance that salt. I'd get thirstier and dangerously dehydrated. So how do we make ocean water drinkable? People have tried for thousands of years. Ancient Greeks used heat to evaporate seawater, then collected condensed fresh water. Thermal desalination still runs today on a massive scale. The problem? Huge energy use, usually fossil fuels, and super salty brine that can harm marine life. Today, most new plants use reverse osmosis. You push seawater through a super fine filter and out comes fresh water. More energy efficient but still costly and wasteful. As of 2020, 17,000 plants serving 300 million people. Still a drop in the bucket for global demand. Scientists are developing greener, cheaper methods for saltwater and for wastewater. Wastewater can be cheaper to clean with RO, less salt to remove, and recycled wastewater can become safe drinking water. But if you're desperate at sea, don't drink salt water. Catch rain, collect dew, or set up a low-tech solar still to distill seawater. Get creative with what you have, even if it sounds wild. Thermal methods date back millennia. Modern RO scaled up recently. Both solve the salt problem, each with trade-offs. We need greener energy and cheaper tech to scale desalination. That means renewable-powered plants and better membranes and swapping wastewater recycling into the mix. Surviving thirst, science plus ingenuity can save the day. Don't drink seawater, use rain, dew, solar stills, and push for cleaner desalination. Quick takeaways from TED-Ed, desalination helps, but it's not a silver bullet.